everybody, RetroHound here with this weekend's pickups. I actually did go out for a few hours before work on Saturday for some yard sales, and I didn't have horrible luck. Uh, I gotta say, the first good yard sale of the season, really. Um, so, we can get started. I messaged this lady, she was posting something all week about a yard sale, and she kept saying she'll get back to me, her son will get back to me, and uh, surprise, she didn't get back to me. So, uh, I ended up getting over to that yard sale, uh, I was about half an hour away, and I finally got there, and they were setting up 45 minutes early. So um, I walked over to them, and I said, are you guys good to go? You know, I, I messaged you guys about the video games, and uh, he goes, yeah, they're right over here. So I got excited, because he pulled out a bunch of Nintendo 64 games, he had a, uh, a platinum version of the GameCube, which I don't have, and... Um, a couple other uh, Xbox 360 games. So um, I looked through everything. I was really bummed, of course. All Everything was beat up. You could just tell he didn't take care of anything. And uh, all the Nintendo 64 games, all 15 of them, were scratched up sports games that I already had. So that was a bummer. Uh, I looked through his uh, Xbox pile and got a couple things. I paid... Everything I got at this place, I paid $2 each. Uh, so let's get this started. Uh, we got Quantum Redshift for the original Xbox. I saw it was an Xbox exclusive. So, um, you know, I'm definitely going to be excited about that one. It's complete. It's actually still sealed. So, uh, one thing to add to the collection. Um, to the Xbox collection. I don't have much, so there's another Xbox exclusive. Uh, now for the 360 games. Now, who can't pass up a Resident Evil game? Resident Evil Operation Raccoon City. Never played this, but um, I saw it. For two bucks, I'm going to pick it up. Anything Resident Evil I've always been a fan for. Uh, so this one is definitely going to be something I'm going to play probably over the next couple of days. So I'm looking forward to that one. Uh, then I got Batman Arkham Asylum. Surprisingly, I don't have it. I know everywhere pretty much people are giving this game away for free. But um, I don't have it. Never got it for free. It's a little bit beat up, but the disc is good. Um, the, the case is a little scratched and the, the paperwork's faded, but... Uh, 3.6, I'm not really into collecting, I'm just into playing, so it's just something for me to play. And uh, also Resident Evil 6, this game was actually really good condition. Um, has every disc in it, complete, labels all good to go. Um, I never played any of the newer Resident Evil games, so I'm looking forward to playing all of these over the next few days. Uh, so that's going to be a little bit exciting. Uh, so again, Resident Evil 6, $2. Um, last thing I got from this guy was a GameCube game disc only. Uh, Super Smash Bros. Melee. Um, I was pretty psyched about this because I had a GameCube deal I got a while back. And um, Super Smash Bros. was one of the games in the package. And I come to realize once you know, once I brought it home and looked through everything, I noticed that the, I, the case was there, but the manual, I'm sorry, the, uh, the disc was missing. Of course, it really bummed me out because I that was one of the games um, I bought... I'm sorry, that was one of the games I was looking forward to purchasing in the whole bundle. And it didn't have the game. It had the the uh, cover, the case, and the instruction booklet, um, but no game. So, good news is, it's now complete. So, now I have a complete version of it. Pretty sweet. Uh, the, you know, it's a little bit beat up. Really not too concerned about it. But now that I have a complete version of it, um, you know, just something to add to the collection. So win two dollars for uh pretty much a case i got for free a while back so there's a win uh the next yard sale i went to i was actually they had nothing outside uh they were an older couple and i asked them if they had anything laying around and um he's like yeah my son had a bunch of stuff up in the attic let me go check so he went downstairs uh and pulled out uh he came out with a game boy uh actually no i'm sorry he came out with two game boys uh, they are in excellent condition. Uh, you can just tell that this family took care of their their stuff growing up, and um, you know they said, "Are you interested in these N Nintendo things?" And uh, he was telling me that he had a bunch of stuff still laying around somewhere. So I gave him my phone number, and I'm looking forward to that phone call. But um, I picked up these two for ten. Uh, cool thing is they also came with games. Uh, this one came with Ren and Stimpy Space Cadet Adventures, which again I don't have, which is pretty sweet and this came with uh tour tour die trash thrash tour de thrash there we go um yeah that was bad sorry uh but it's pretty sweet because uh they're both great condition the only bummer thing about it is um my original game boy growing up 
uh, you know, it was it's my original Game Boy. I kind of want to keep it because it was my first system that I really had growing up, and I used to play Pokemon Red on it when I went to pick up my dad at the train station. Um, but these things are in great condition. Um, you know, I'm probably going to keep the original just because of nostalgic reasons, but uh, here's some replacements. These things still turn on, too. Um, powered it on my way home that day, and still works. Pretty cool. Uh, the game's reading everything on both of them. Uh, you know, just something, it was cool to find. I never really find uh, Game Boys anywhere other than retail shops for like $30 a piece. So that was a cool find. Uh, the last find of the day was pretty awesome. Um, I was stopping at a yard sale and a guy came, you know, I was talking to him while his wife was putting some stuff out. And I'll give you a little sneak peek. Um, he, I was telling him how I'm a big game collector, and he had his kids outside, and I was telling him how I'm also expecting uh, our first child in July. Um, so I think, you know, after a while, we were sitting there talking for five or ten minutes, he kind of related to me, and um, he said he had a Super Nintendo inside. So he went inside, brought the stuff out, and um, he said he had an original PlayStation with some games, uh, Sega Genesis with some games, and actually an arcade cabinet that worked perfect. Um, so I gave him my cell phone number as well. He's going to call me back, but here's the deal he gave me. I uh, got a uh, Super Nintendo, tested it, it works great. Um, unfortunately, it didn't come with the cables, but I'd use my cables just to test it out. Um, the, just the deal was like amazing, because that day wasn't looking up, but this was the end of the day, and it actually worked out great. Um, I also got one of these controls. I never had one of these. I think it's like a turbo remote. Um, if anyone knows specifically what it is, uh, I'm sure I can Google it myself, but comments are always appreciated. So if there's any type of, um, you know, any help I can get from uh, my subscribers or anyone that's watching the video, I'd appreciate it because, you know, the more I can get info on these things, um, the better. Um, my favorite system is Super Nintendo. It's pretty cool. I found something I didn't know about uh, for a system I loved. And with that, I got a bunch of games, surprisingly. I uh, got Miss, uh, Miss Pac-Man Complete in Box. It's beat up, uh, but again, it's, it's a game I didn't have, so it's pretty sweet that I actually got a complete game out of this. We got some uh, some originals. We got Super Mario World. I believe they all had the dust covers, too. Uh, Super Mario All-Stars. We got Super Mario Kart. We got Paperboy 2. We got Super Caesar's Palace. We got Battle Cars. We got Mickey Mania. And we got the Itchy and Scratchy game. Simpsons, all the Simpsons lovers out there, I'm sure you guys know what this is. Um, the cool thing is, all of these games I did not have. Um, I had the, the three Mario games, you know, who doesn't, but... Um, it was pretty awesome to see, you know, a whole deal like that where it's games that I don't have and, uh, you know, some extras thrown in and a cool, uh, you know, a box game in a, at a yard sale that I did not have uh, to come across that is, you know, pretty lucky for me. Uh, believe it or not, um, I only paid $5 for all of that. The, the guy knew what he had and um, he just wanted to get rid of it, but he kind of, you could tell he knew how much I enjoyed collecting, and, um, you know, he could just tell he was done with it, so I was really excited, five dollars, that's, you know, that's amazing, that's, I really appreciate that, man, I believe his name was, uh, oh my goodness, what's his name, Barry, that's what it was, so thanks, Barry, for that, just, uh, you know, a yard sale that helped me out with that, so, that's, uh, definitely gonna help me out with my Super Nintendo collection, I'm a big fan of Super Nintendo stuff, so now that, uh, my collection's a little bit more full, uh, it's gonna really help out um, so that's it. Um, not a bad day. $25 for a decent amount of stuff. Uh, really was hoping to spend more to get some more stuff, but I'll take this any day. Anything to fill up my Super Nintendo collection is going to help me out. So, um, that's really all I have, guys. Comment, like, subscribe. Uh, need some more followers, so spread the name to your friends. I'm hoping I can get this channel up and running even more. I'm going to try to stick with uploading every Monday for videos. Um, so any critiques, any good ideas, I'm hoping the videos will get better um, quality-wise. And uh, again, anything to say, please say it down below, alright? Uh, Retro Hound out, guys. Take care.